Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're to both. It's Friday afternoon. Uh, you guys got Sussex coming up next weekend. I've got painkillers in me. And people have been asking me questions about Cumberland. So I, I, I'm gonna I'll play the event a little bit today, get a few games in, give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough on it. If you got specific questions, go through, let me know. Um, and mind you too, I'm going to put a caveat on this with the way the tee boxes are right now. It feels as if we're not getting any of the closer tee boxes from back in the day. So it really made the, it makes a decision on this a lot easier. So please note that this might totally change it with new tee boxes when they come out. So when we get into, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more when we get into it. I'm also going to go through the history a little bit of it, tell you some of the shots we used to hit, uh, differences that have changed. There's really not much I felt like there was any much difference. But uh, shots that we hit when it was live, because mind you, when it was live, we played this with no tees either. And that's going to be the whole thing today. The show's going to be all Cumberland. It's date night tonight, I, so I get a chance to... Uh, I got I got the, Dune, the second half of Dune tickets for tonight. I'm very excited. I don't know if she is... But I don't care. I am. That's like D Dune was one of my my first memories, like of a book to read, and so I kind of got got hooked on that a little bit. Now you guys are going too. I will say this: if you guys are loading up your player accounts, don't hesitate. If you guys want to, if anybody wants to make donations to word of mouth, you can get a free invite back for twenty five dollars that you will get a free win on. So you just get to play. So I quit it donation to me you get 25 i get 20 in a donation and it works out beautifully for everybody it helps me get rid of some of these credits in the player account that i'll never use okay now if you notice though uh hi mr stone how you doing sir if you notice here i'm playing stouts right and here's why we're getting the back box here i have yet to see a shot here on one that this hole gets drivable and there's not really a difference to me between a 70 yard shot and a 50 yard shot. Not much difference. So again, here, this hole, not really necessary. There are some setups though, back in the day where this tee box would be closer. They're not available right now as I guess they're, they're based off a of season. So for now being so far back, we're not going to drive this hole over. 
Hey, David, how you doing, sir? Okay, so now we go, we're going to have This is great. I love it. Let's see if we got this touch still. Do we still have it? I think we still got it, guys. I think we still got it. That's just as easy as driving it, right? Hi, Austin. How you doing, bud? Now, uh, I was talking, Justin Wilson had asked me last night. He's like, well, can you drive too? Okay, so the closest this is getting right now is like 430, right? So at 430, nothing's getting to the green on the fly. So we're really hoping to catch that wall bounce on the way down. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm probably not going to get it down there this time. But... For the most part, though, we're all hoping for the same thing, a, a solid kick off the wall up the fairway. So the, no difference in balls here is really going to matter. The rare setup that the other balls are going to hit the down slope on the, the rock wall on a fly, that's beneficial. But it's not very often that it can happen, all right? Most of the time, I'm just hoping for something like this. Getting a chip from down here, and this is unfortunately a little bad, and I'm not going to get too aggressive with it. I'm just getting it up. I'm not going to leave that one short and then get pissed off and, and chip five time. <coughs> I'm trying not to thumb as much because thumbing really can hurt, but sometimes I have to because I can't get out of it. Like this. I have to thumb it. Well. Mm. Ah, 93. Isn't it straight? That's good. Yeah, we're just really, I mean, honestly, school has been not as much work as I expected it to be thus far. So, all right, we're going to see a couple different setups here. I hope we get to them all, but all of the tee boxes are long, but all back around this edge, going back around to the left. Ah, right. Uh, and I'll, I'll go through that too, but I'm using my basic setup, basic clubs. There we go. We'll go through that. Thank you, Ryan, for asking. I am going with the nine and a half driver here. Um, I go with the nine and a half driver, and I'll explain why. The eight and a half has got some benefits to it, but not, it's iffy. I would also maybe even think about using the three driver bag, but that removes my four iron. I'm not about to build another bag, but the four iron comes into play a lot for me. So my basic bag, nine and a half, 300. Uh, the 10 and a half, uh, it's the 23, I, I believe it's the 22 degree one. And I, I might have my numbers off in my head, but it's the older one. Whatever one says it's good for the, the pre whatever years. Three wood is the standard 275, four wood, five wood. Remember the five wood is going to be the 250 one, six wood, only six wood there. That might be a club I could get rid of if needed to. I go with the nine wood. You guys all know my theories on the nine wood. They're all almost the same club, except this one goes higher. I'm going to choose this one. Four iron, like I said, very important for me. It comes up on a lot of the par threes. Five, seven, eight, nine, G, putter. It's my standard basic bag, and I, I, I'll show you where I would want to change it sometimes, but it's not necessary. No way. Oh, God. I got a little lucky there. And let's see. What was five? Yeah, five. Nothing big. This one can be a little problematic, but it's never bad. Um, this is where I'm saying problematic. If you were to use the uh, another wind ball, you could hit this one a lot farther here. But not on this setup. Again, it's going to be one time you'd win, one time you'd lose with distance. So that hole is a wash for balls. Oh, that hurt. Stop it. Okay, now what do we got next? Oh, you're welcome, Frank. Okay, so now... I'm going to give you the key on this hole. Never use backspin. If you try to go straight, never use backspin. Here's why. We know the backspin makes the ball bounce higher, right? Well, that slope is enough, and it goes to the side that it gets to the 20th bounce that it will stop on right at the path. So you could have it stop fine, but... Hey, Richard, put a nice little mat. Hi, Sean. Hey, buddy. But... 
Make sure bite is the spin if I'm going deep. On this one, you're going to see almost every time, it's just going to be a high T bite shot. And you're going to hit it solid, and you'll stop right at the top of the hill. Do not backspin it. High straight. Bite. Now, if that was backspin, that ball hops and starts trailing down the hill. And then you're going, you're going to go over the edge. Now, we have driven that hole before back in the day. Um, there was the the bounces down the hill. Remember, we wouldn't have been using tees. So we'd get a bounce off the hill with a like a C3 with roll. And then we'd get a bounce over the path. It was so rare that I said we were driving it. It probably was driven five times since the history of the course has been out. So don't take that as, a, uh, as gospel to it. This is the shot that most people are probably questioning about. Now, you guys, some people might hit a full. I might go, ooh, oh, that's a full from there, possibly. This is going back to the old school in me, saying that I always like to face my target, right? So right now, if I'm looking at this target, let's eliminate the trees in front of me. Let's pretend they're not there. So I basically have to barely cut it, right? Okay, cool. I'd be barely cutting it. Oh, now I open my eyes. The trees are in front of me. I got to get around it. So... Because I got to throw it out, I'm going to lose a little distance. So, baby cut, throw it out right, and it's perfect. Now, always I'm going to move the tee to the right, not necessary, but if I can make this, if I can make my obstacle smaller than I could possibly hit, I'm going to do it. I don't want a larger obstacle. This way I have a little bit more leeway. Uh, now, oh yeah, Miss Pennsylvania, it's my, it's, it's my shirt, man. It's, it's the mantra of the show. Okay, so. We don't have to hit this hard. Now, what we want to do is when you're looking at a shot like this, if I'm putting a baby cut on it, like this, like, right? Like just a couple clicks right in B. If we're looking at the overhead, is it lined up? Yeah, we can see okay. Try to get my shadow out of it. So in here, so inside the tip, when I throw it out directionally, I'm going to have a, a reduction in distance because my cut is so small that that... I'm not getting the snap hooker slice because the cut, the, the difference between this angle is still less than, let's say, 45 degrees. So if I go to three and I go to just right a B, well, guess what? That's not more than 45 degrees on the cut. So I'm not going to get a snap. I'm going to get it to slow down. So this will lessen speed. Now, what you also have to know is we're going to use spin here, not determining on what how far we're going to let the ball go. We're going to use the spin depending on where the pin is on the green. I see the pin is on the far left. I don't have much helper going left. I know I'm going to come into the green. I want it to go straight left, backspin. Right? So now we're good. Baby cut. That's it. That's that shot. That's it. It's almost every fucking time you could do it the exact same way. Uh, even if that shot is... Now, when you're doing those baby cuts, it is really easy to knock that forward swing down to 100 or up to a 145. I've got that play there. That was 125 to a 305 green with an outwind of 8. I, I mean, you see that you can you can finagle that shot went from 270 to 320 if you really wanted to. I, obviously, as you start getting having to hit it further, if you have to hit it hard, it's harder to get it to read perfectly going out that way when you're hammering it. So if that makes sense to you, that's a great way to approach that hole. Let's go. I actually wanted to hit this with, but with no like with backspin and a five iron. But I'm better than par. I don't want to ruin a guy on that. So we're just gonna high tee it so I can backspin it. Maybe get a little playback, but not enough that it would ever be able to pull back through the, uh, the what, one foot of rough there, our first cut that we'd call it on our fringe. Sorry, goddamn the words. The words are escaping me. This is going to be the, the hardest hole when you're using stouts, all right? Now, we got we to gotta find your points. This is great, though. It's a long par five that we don't have to turn. We can see where the pin is. Uh, would there be reason... To the club, to the distance, to take the. Um. Well, so Austin, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If I was to let's say turn right once and cut it and hit it straight, 
the reason why fulls are good is because if you turn right twice and cut, you're hitting the max of the full, right? So you know where it's going to go. I beg you to go one turn less than that and try to pick and try to hit the same cut every time and not see that ball go out of control sometime. So what we're really doing here is, is with that baby cut shot that I'm doing, the baby cut and whipping in and out, I'm almost taking all the risk out of it. The only thing I'm gonna really ever mess up there is a sometimes I'll uh, you'll miss hit the ball and and that's but that is the same problem when you're going to three for a right-handed person on any shot. So that isn't a factor on changing, but the one that is is sometimes you'll get your speeds off and I'll still have the occasional time where I'm playing I think I'm playing a baby cut and I must have clicked over my hand a little and got a little bit too much so I'll get a little whippy on it. But in general, it's much easier to control than if I'm trying to just flat cut something in a mount going right to left, if that makes sense. Now, on this one, that's awful close to being able to get across. But where that pin is, I don't really care. I can go up into the rough, but on this one, I can go into the fairway short. And I get a ten and a half in and just bounce it right off the rough. Or go to the green on a fly. Wow. Okay, perfect. Well, I hope that answers. I hope that answers your reason. Club to the distance. Oh, oh. Well, oh, oh. And Austin, I think I now that you said that again is if you're saying like this, going, I know that my cut with the three wood hammered. That's the perfect distance. The only problem that comes into play there, hammer a ball to two and a half repeatedly and tell me how many times you actually get the same speed going to two and a half you know how many times i can go to the same spot and speed when i'm hitting the shot like a, a half cut that way because that's a, that size shot is more consistent and i have a bigger room for play if you're playing the max distance of the club and for some reason it reads 130 instead of 145 you can't, that shortness is going to screw you. But I now opened up a window of play where my shot's going to be safe if I hit it 105 to 130. So risk to reward. And now, I, like I said, I've given myself more opportunities to not fuck myself. Where in, in a perfect world, if I could guarantee that the shot was going to read exactly what I think I hit, Fuck yeah, your way would be way better. That's just not, it's just not theoretically correct. We're just never going to do it. Hi, Jay. And like I said, oh, wow, whoops. I meant to hit bite. But I love having this four iron. It seems to come into play a lot on this course for all the distances I put it. I mean, John, I tried to all the time. And hello, by the way. This is an interesting shot. In general, if I'm going to a green with the pin at the top going over an obstacle, meaning I don't have anything in front of me, like I have to land long, I always want to try to play the the short, how do we say, what's the word? I want to play the club that gets there, the barely gets there. So is that question here? Hi, Dave. What's up, guys? Uh, now, there's a risk to reward to it too. Do I think I could get this there with a five wood? Would, and mind you, I want to hit this with backspin on it with no high T because I want it to be able to pull back. Could I get that there? I think I'm close. So in this case, I'm going to take a little bit of safety and I'll go with the four wood and I'll just nut this. I'll probably have a 30 foot puck coming back. But the five, if I missed it or cross cut it, I could have screwed myself. I'm for, that's pretty good, 34. Calling it 30. Um, calling it 30 is from there. That's pretty good. Okay, another one. We got to get this. Let's can this bad boy. Remember, guys, though, that with my, my telling you that the 9 wood is my choice because it goes higher and it's the same distance almost. It's within three yards. All three of the, the woods that I call high woods, your 7, your 8, or 9, they're all within three yards of each other. If this one goes 20 feet higher, ops getting over shit is really important in Golden Teeth. The nine wood's the way to go. And I'm I'm pointing, and I don't think you guys see what I'm pointing at. So I'm pointing at my TV. That's it. So, God, that sucks. You know, I never realized how much of an idiot I must look like when I'm pointing at things.
Noted. Check. So, mind you, this club is going to go a bit further than what we think it is. Think of it like you're, you're like an eight wood. It's very similar. So we'll go all the way over here and watch. I'm going to just thumb this with back. Not even hard either. That's a 90 thumb. And it landed with stouts to pass the distance of the club. That's no other club does that. Maybe. Maybe another club does. Another one. Just look where the pin is. You can leave it back here because we can get over the top. So mind you, we got a nine wood and a six wood that's going to clear that tree without a thought, right? So what's our distance in? If we land it here, 275, we're looking at about 170 in from here. No, I'm sorry, 270 in from here. I don't want that. So I want to go up to the next spot. I'll go up to the next tier. I see this. Perfect. Now I've got a lane in. I got an option of clubs here. Five wood thumb, yeah, good, because I went past the tree line. Oh, come on. Yeah, that, that those are, I'm telling you right now, guys, that the thumbing is what really fucked up my shoulders. I don't know why it's only my left one, but that, that gets me a little bit. That and driving. I always just play it here. Be careful, guys. If you're going back to stouts like I am, back and forth between stouts, titans, and streaks on different courses, I've been doing this a lot, going here and thinking, oh, okay, that's that's a four wood. Okay, good. And then going in and hitting this, and it's it's the three wood, and I'm flying the green by a mile. So I want to hit a four here. I could backspin. No, we're going to play the bite spin. Bad line, bad line. What's the other holes that come up? No. Okay, so th this guy here, you got a lot of options. There are a lot of times where the medium T5 wood will clear here. Now, I'm playing stouts. Medium T5 wood is probably not getting there with a straight shot. It could maybe dead perfectly hit. So instead, I'm going to probably go around the side. Now, of course, I'm looking to make this shot, and I tell you, you could easily go with the high five wood, plop it down a little bit over the a little bit over the pin, give yourself a 40 yard foot putt. Uh then and that's fine. That would work fine. You got a little bit of control to worry about because if you over hit it, it'll go long. You're not worried about short too much. But the shot can only go in if it landed directly in the hole. I could go up to this though, and I'm gonna try to play it barely around the trees with a little cut. Follow the same line. If you've noticed, the curve of the mound is almost the direct path that we want to take. Uh, I've got a, I've got my logic station on. So a little bit of cut, and we're going to just throw it out pretty far. Ah, too hard. But so you can see that bounce is beautiful. It gives me a great line coming in. Now, it's one of the things, too. Uh, if, if we're going to play stouts, we all know that the putting's screwed, right? It's terrible. So I want these short putts. So I'm going to approach holes a bit differently. With, uh, with Titans and Streaks, man, it is like, it's like it's like driving a Ferrari on the green compared to driving a, an Eclipse. And I know I used to drive an Eclipse. Simple here. Remember that the, te the ten and a half does get a little bit more cut to it when you can hit it soft. We basically only need to get this around the edge. Uh... I, I would generally go with backspin in this setup, and I think I will here now too, M only because it's going to just give me maybe a foot or two more with the cut. And that foot or two more could make my shot be a straight shot or a cut shot, depending on how I hit the next for the next shot. So I got a little bit more turn out of it. We got there. Now we got a straight thumb shot coming in. I'm going to actually use a push shot here. So right now, right now it's a little bit of Kendrick going right now. So that's good. Okay, so now we want to play this one with a cut going back to the hole. Um, it's a really bad distance for 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 my clubs. That the four iron, I'm never going to make it with the four iron. So why would I even bother trying to cut it back in if I'm already playing a shot that I'm not going to make? Because that won't have enough comeback. A cut with this, I got to hit it pretty solid. So then if I hit it solid, I might be going to overcut it. So 
I'm going to go over here. I know that seems a little counterproductive to go uh, with the wind, but I'm not going to undercut this. Uh, that Undercutting this wouldn't be bad. Uh, I want to make sure that I don't overcut it and stamp it off the side of the green. So I'm going here. I'm going here. Gave myself a bigger arc to play with, right? So I have more, I got more room to throw it out. And it's hard to cut short. It's easier to get into that middle distance. It might be different for me. You might find that your pullback is prone to being just a baby cut every time in that direction. Once you know that, well, you can adjust to play your cut shots with that baby cut, if that makes sense. Uh, here, if we're looking at this, I I'm playing this super safe now. Uh, it's an eight in my face. I'm going to just really, I'm going to high tee this. I'm smoothie in this with backspin. I, I'm using backspin just because I'm hope maybe it could turn back around. Most likely I'm going to leave myself a putt slightly higher than the hole. Oh, it turned around. Okay. Nah. All right. Be careful with this, right? If we're looking at this from the side view, man. What up, Scotty? This green, it feels like it. The, this rough's got a little, or this fringe has a little bit of angle to it. I'm chipping this. I'm not going to dare putt this. With stouts especially. With streaks, maybe I putt this. I, I don't think I could get this high enough to get make this. So let's just try to make the chip. Hey, all right. One game, 28. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. So that's that was a one better, right? And all I did was made a shot from 50 yards on hole one. Or from 100 yards on hole one. Let's get a couple of setups in here. I got to look at the event because I think Al was ahead of me, wasn't he? Neil, you and Ryan were you were you and Ryan were were, were hounding me the last couple of days. I got a few other ones too asking about Cumberland, so we'll we'll look at it. So please do remember what I'm saying about stouts for this course right now. We are getting all of the back tee boxes. There is no use. There's no benefit to having the long balls yet. If there were different tee boxes, I might have a totally different thing to say about it. But right now, your benefit is all in the stouts. You should be playing stouts on Cumberland. I, there's not a way to there's not a way to argue with it, Mister Kenny. How you doing, buddy? Oh, oh yeah, the last two pills I took were just kicked in, guys. So I'm I got a, and I, I got a nice little loop going. I'm feeling happy and I'm getting red. I think let's get a little air going in the house. Now I got a little chance to wrap her, get me thinking of home, baby. It's a hundred percent true. Yes, it's a hundred percent true. Um, but I, yeah, that we'll go. We'll we'll leave that one. Yeah, we'll leave that one alone for now. Okay. So what do you? I mean, really, the only ball that could maybe even get to this hole right now would be. Uh, would be arrows with a straight shot. And that's even close. That might not get there. So why am I going to leave myself a... I'm going to leave myself a 30-yard chip with the Titans, uh, a 25-yard chip with the Streaks, or a 40-yard chip with the Stouts. And that's the benefit right there. I, I, there's not a benefit now. If they give us the tee boxes that this is sitting at 405, well, then you got to say, hey, I'm putting with Titans and Streaks. With Stouts, I got a chip or a church. It's going to be a, a determination on how you comfortable you've gotten and what part of your game is the strongest. What I'm going to say is I I am I mean light years more consistent, just like everyone else is with playing stout. So I want to use these as much as possible. Hey, look at us getting a whole one every time. That's what we do here. Oh, uh, straight. It has nothing to do with money, but I will say this. I do, if uh, if anybody wants to, if anybody is interested in playing an invite by making a $20 donation and then getting a free $25 invite win, that is something I'm interested in doing. I'd love to donate a lot of, but get rid of a lot of that player account credits. Um, Don't know, Neil. I'm talking, I was just talking with Chuck Wagon. That's beautiful. That's right where I want this, right? Look at how perfect this turns out. 
Ah, I didn't hit it straight. But pro probably not. I got... That's midterms right there. I got midterms that week right afterwards. And I kind of want to just focus. I don't really want to be all hungover. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a week of a hangover. Mm. I know, I know. School's going fine, John. It's not. I doubt it. I want, I'm at Iowa, the University of Iowa now. and I. It's not fair. A lot of the classes, all of the stuff that I had to you know, pound down and learn. I've already finished all of that stuff. So this is all like theory classes and, and arts towards criminology. So like, I like my international relations and it's all stuff that I have such an advantage being that I'm not, a, I'm alive for 45 years compared to the 18 or 25 alive of the rest of the people. So it's not requiring me to do much because I lived through a lot of the things that we're talking about. Uh, I don't know what I just did here, why I used a T. Okay, but this is the worst. These are the worst setups. You can't go over it. It's around the edge. I kind of screwed myself. This is not the shot I would normally hit here. Yeah, this isn't what I would normally do, but this could work. Okay, that worked. Now, that would by far is not the shot I normally play there or the shot I wanted to show you, but that's a great way to know that, to know uh, another another op option and look into that hole because that was a bad look. That's the look that we're clear. We're not clear of anything and it's tucked behind. I had a YouTube up of a bank shot that I play on it. And actually, I think I did, when we did the last event on this course, I think I got the same shot in too. Now, notice I played up a lot of clubs and I did not slow down my swing much. Remember, when you're playing big cuts out of the rough, you have to cut more than you think, and it will kill your distance on any club. Also, it's cut straight. Do not go two directions. Do not go pull back left and aim left, because that ball will never come back when you're playing out of the rough. You can get some cut, but not a lot. So fulls out of the rough are good. Yeah, and John, it's not going to be any, it's not going to really be anything. There's not going to be anything that's really interesting or, 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 uh, that I'm worried about until I get to the actual law stuff. I was trying, trying to get cute. I need, I want a 29 here. We need a 29. We want a 29 or a 30. Uh, okay. A little bit rougher of a shot here now before i was talking about the pin being to the left so i'm going to want to backspin it now we got to win in our face we got to fight a cut which means i have to cut it more so that means there's a higher time of this ball that i'm going to cut it and get a snap because i'm making the angle larger with how i have to make the cut so first thing i want to do to lessen the angle between my forward and my backward swing let's detract it from what i have to go around there I've lessened it. Okay, now it's long, right? I've got a 300 yard club with stouts. That's this is it's a it's a pretty long shot. So I'm gonna have to hit it a little harder. If I backspin and I have more of a snap on it, that snap is gonna continue when it gets to the green and actually multiply with the backspin. So backspin's gonna pull this off the left side of the green. I'm gonna use bite spin here, so I have that same kind of thing. Ah, a one-off. I'm not one-off. I'm better than par right now, Doug. All right, so we get the cut right, and then we're going to throw it out. We're going to hit a little harder, too. And then I did what I talked about. I overcut it a little bit, so I had too much snap to it. So we see how it works. All right, let's see if I'm getting this chipping click chipping down yet. I don't care. I'm going to DNF this one, probably. Let's see. Let's go three. No, it's two. Oh! Oh, I bit it. All right. We'll DNF this one. Get again. 
I fucking I Brittany, it's the it's a long line and a list of stupid decisions that are unethical as shit. Uh, that one drives that one. I there's not much defense of that. There isn't a reason why. There's no there's no reason why. There's literally no reason why. Why why you would lose it for the product that you have already? Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. They didn't have to remove it either. That's the thing. They remove it on the new ones. They can't compete with each. They can't compete with each other anyway. That's it. You you just have to change it on the new one. That's it. then you don't put that one in the rotation for any prize play. Simple. I don't get it. I didn't quite understand it. That one, that one hurts me. All right, we're going weekly event. Oh, we got to look to see where we're at now in this event. Oh, yeah, it's me. It's me, it's me now, baby. It's me. Oh yeah, it is. A, it was. A, it was an atrocious decision that I didn't. I don't like. But hey, it's. Uh, we we don't have to base anything that we do off of their decisions anymore. That's all there is to it. Again, real deep. What would be a bad advantage of having a different ball here? None. Um. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the other hole that can be drivable that you're not going to expect. I trust that it doesn't work if ever now, because it required a ramp out of a bunker. And you'll see, you're going to be like, what? And you guys fucking drove this? And mind you, we weren't using T's either. Hey, Pete. Oh, by the way, you don't have to waste a T on this either. You can just go. And your distance is going to be very similar too. And in a lot of setups, you don't want to have the high T because you want it to get that forward bounce. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. Mm. I'm feeling all right. Okay. Me. Personally, this is beautiful. I love it. Now, the question is, one, if I thumb it straight. What's up, Josh? Happy birthday, belated brother. If I thumb it straight. Is that little bit of left wind on that eight enough to fight a right four? I don't think so. Let's just give it one or two squares. Actually, let's go one. Yeah, they're half there. And if you notice, I sprayed it right a little bit. And that's the problem I have on PJ a lot more. Everything's a little bit right. And we get the straight, straight in setup. Look, I'll just thumb this with backswing. Ah. Nothing big here. We're going to just knock it up. Now, let's just show the difference. Now, the A1 can lead you to some problems with the forward bump. So can this. I'm going to it's not going to be much difference though. And again, the high T and the the high T on this shot, it's not going to be much difference either cuz the forward swing is going to bounce you forward that much. Now, let's see. Do we see anything above us? Yeah, we're going to hit it if we hit the five. That's going to hit if I play the five to make it. So we're going to play the five with a baby cut. Hmm. A little bit more. Okay, back to this one. And like I said, this is going to be, not this hole, the next hole after this is one of the harder ones. There's this shot, and then the other long par five is going to be the, the tough one. This one's not bad. We got five in the face. Let me show you the other shot. So, okay, I'm scared now. This one might not get up, okay? And, and it might not. I want to put it at the bottom of the fairway on the far left side. You can get all the way up right next to the bunker, but you're over everything from here. So I'll just go here. I'm going to hit a bite spin three. Maybe backspin three goes, ah, simple. Oh, I'm saying you don't have to. That's the whole point, Neil. Like, I, I'm going to tell you is stop giving them free money. Yes. 
Now, this one says $2.99, but look where the pin is. It's all the way at the back. So this is actually a really soft shot. I'll go with a bite spin, baby cut, baby cut, throw it out. Bite spin, throw it out. Bite spin, throw it out. Back spin, throw it out. There's some times when it's short with big outwinds. The same shot works with the three wood and the ten and a half as well. Uh, be careful. You've got to have a bigger arc getting around the outside edge because your height is bringing it into the outside edge of the tree as well then. So you just got to throw it out a little more, but the same theory craft behind it work. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like some coke in your ass crack. Dude, Childish Gambino can go. Okay, so real long, but where is the pin? Right? Pin. Left, middle, short. We're open on anything we want to do. You can go up to the edge of the, of the water, but I, I prefer not to bring the water into play. So I want to just put it on the edge of the fairway. Right? I got options. I can hit the nine and a half, my normal drive. I could hit this. I'll go with the nine and a half. I'll play it to the left. Now, what you need to know is in front of this hole that that rough bounces slightly left. You're, the problem now that makes this harder than it used to be is that I used to just skip it right out of the bunker. Well, it plugs the bunker now. So you can't do that. So you got to play this a little bit, a little bit more, uh, be more cognizant of everything. So I'm going to keep it a little bit left of the tree. Check maxim. Uh, so this hole, we used to drive this hole. Now, you haven't gotten the tee box, but there was a tee box up there that left this at about 380. And mind you, it was with no tees. You'd hit an A1 and it would go into the bunker and shoot up top. Uh, I don't think it's possible anymore. I can still get it up into the bunker, but it, will, it just plugs in there. And the problem then, too, where it plugs you against the wall of the bunker, you can't get out. So I haven't tried it again. Mm. Let's get a second one better. Let's get another stroke in there. Hi, Heisenberg. What's up, buddy? All right. So, again, we don't have an outwind this time. Can I get the four there? I think last time proved I could. But why do I want to? Do I have to risk it? No, we got a lot more play here. So, I'm going to just hit a smoothie. I'll hit a smoothie backspin three. And that's being, once you get comfortable with your distances and know that, hey, that three wood's going to go, I can't really fuck that shot up. It's going to get there. Um, obviously, there is some confidence that comes with repeatedly hitting the ball to know what your speeds are, and that'll come. So you want to lessen the chance that your mistakes are going to cost you strokes. A club like a three wood is really conservative. Like, you're not going to go short with that. It's going to probably carry. That club carries. If I tried to hit the eight and a half driver to stick that, well, that leaves me a lot of a, a lot of mistakes. Could I stick it? Yes, but it's a lot of mistakes. We want to get get rid of those. Ball sack. Wow, thanks, Varn. I appreciate you. Day and night. Oh, anytime, Heisenberg. You're not the only one, so don't don't be worried about it. Okay, so this is going to be what we call what I'm going to call a very easy look, but it, you might change your approach to it. Okay, now if I put the ball right here, we got nothing in front of us. We've got a wide open green to go down the hill. We've got green to pull back the shot on it as well. But I'm going to be what? I'll be uh, if I hit this 250, we're going to be what? 275 away. No, I'm sorry. We're going to be 225 away. Okay, so we're a six wood distance in. So what if I go up here with a high T driver? And now I'm sitting at a, yeah, what, 160 to 180? Okay, that's, you're going to make it more from there. But are you going to make it more from there considering that the only thing I can do is backspin that? Plus, I have a risk of getting the ball over there. Whether it's you think it is or not, there is a slight risk. So let's go with the simplest, simplest solution. It's always the best, right? 
So now I've got options. I can flip this up there with backspin. I can thumb this with bite. I can release it down the hill. I'm going to play a baby cut, though. Right corner. Neck. Oh, guess what, guys? Jill's leaving work. And I didn't cut it enough, but look at that. I had all the options there. So keeping the options open, it's going to be a lot of what we see. And I, you know, I, I always called it risk to reward, which is that, that is a very big part of this. But let's leave. Let's just assume let's play the game as if we're going to fuck it up. Right. Like the optimum shot isn't going to ever happen. We're never going to hit the perfect shot. What's up, Keen? We're never going to hit it perfectly or exactly how we tend to. So we want to, let's pretend like we're not going to hit the perfect shot. So which one's going to alleviate us fucking up? Now, obviously that's not always possible, but if we get into that mindset, our scores are going to be consistently higher. And then once you're at that level of consistency, you can easily adapt that and go, all right, nope, not this time. This time I'm going balls out. I got to do it this way, even though I know this is going to have a better shot of going in, also going in the water. And you'll find that, like, I, you'll find it. Oh, God, did I really just water that? I did. Oh, my God. That was a, what did I do? Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's just see the last couple holes. That was terrible. Where should we play this from? Let's try it up here. Uh, 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 nice. That was a bad, that was bad. That's an embarrassing way to lose another one better. Ah. Yeah, I did. I, uh, no, I know. No, no, I, yeah, I, I no, I, I did. I, it was one of those ones where you're pulling it back and my hand kind of rolled over, so I changed it a bit at the end. Okay, so let's go here. Let's try to make this one then. So, now, other people would say that this is an easier shot. I don't. I'm aiming at my target now. I know what my cut is. I'm cutting for a certain wind. I'm going to play the three wood. I'm going to move it over here. I personally know that I'm going to play this cut tight to this edge. Well, it's a mound, right? So I'm going to be bouncing on the inside of the mound. If I, if I cut it a little bit too much, the bounce is going to kick too far right, and it's going to bounce me over the edge. So I, I know where my wrists are. We're going to play it nice and soft, though, because I want to bounce short twice, right? Because then I'm going to still get a kick right, but it's not going to be terrible and off. So if I can get it to bounce short twice, great. Once I, in order to make it, I really risk the water. Too hard. But you notice, though, you saw what I was talking about with that slope. I kept it way toward the middle rather than on the line toward the hole. And look what my line is. It still was almost wet. So that's the, I, I, I guess they're going to call us members only bounces, right? And I guess that, I, I mean, there is an unfair advantage, but is it unfair because it's earned? I, I don't know. But nonetheless, I do have an unfair advantage because I still remember all the fucking bounces. Hey, thanks, Revelin. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you can't go. Soft. Oh, I hit a nine and a half. And I do that shit. I meant to hit that ten and a half, guys. The ten and a half doesn't hit anything. All right, so let's try to hit something fun here. What do we got? I couldn't change a thing. Where is what was that right there? Sweet, bud. Appreciate it. All right, so 17. Uh, let's just get an idea here, right? It's down five, left six, and it's a downhill shot. Watch this. I'm going to hit this with release, and I'm going to be short. So the six one is really short. And I snapped the shit out of that ball. Oh. All right, let's get on. Let's get on to another one so we can get some different looks. Guys, my normal thumb shots are 90. That was just a really big thumb shot. I, I know that, that. But you saw, though, I mean, that's an 100, 100 dead straight thumbs. I don't, not many of us are hitting 100 on our thumbs. That thumb shot straight wouldn't go over. I don't know how I got that to 100. I don't ever get to the 100 on my thumb. All right, that's with one shoulder. Everything slants to the left. It's because you're wearing one shoe. 
All right, let's go again. Let's get this. Let's get a big score here. I'm calling a 29. I, I tell you what, I'll keep playing these until I shoot a 29. Or until Jill comes down here and grabs me by the junk. Yeah, Chad, you get up there, though. What up, Matty B? Okay, so now we got an outwind of five. Now let's just think. Let's just say a good C3 with the stouts on this hole is going to get me to about 400. Is it? This is the judgment I want to make before I do this. Is a 47-yard shot, a 40-yard chip with sand behind me that I probably can't chush? It's going to be a long flick chip because I got a little rough to play. Is that better than this? No, this is super easy compared to that. Uh-oh, guys, we're talking to Jill now. Ready? Here we go. Hi, Jill. The world says hello. I am streaming, Jill, yes. Even you, you don't even you don't even follow me anymore. Even Jill, guys, my wife isn't even a subscriber anymore, guys. Don't be like Jill. Don't be like Jill. She doesn't know when the word of mouth is going live. Be a subscriber. Don't be like my wife. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Jill. I love you too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you too. Hi, <laughs> bye. Uh, now she's acting all freaked out. She thinks something's wrong. Okay, now I put myself dead in between clubs, which shouldn't have been the thing, but I can thumb this if I want. I honestly want to pull this back because with the stouts, I'm, I'm really good at this little half cut, this little bit of cut, because and this is going to go back to a Mark Stenmark theory, guys. And Okay, so if you have that barely, right? Ah, uh, yep, she's come done. I'm done. But, okay, so here was the theory. And the theory was, and this is kind of ironic, that this is 100 yards. But he said that at 100 yards away, you can't thumb, and this was with the full wind ball, you can't thumb a ball like one click to the left is too much and one click to and straight is too little. You couldn't thumb a ball straight and put it in. Now, there are some caveats with bounces and greens not being perfectly flat, but for the most part, that's true. Well, what did I do here? I put myself with that same thing. So, in theory... I'm going to be either too far left or too, or straight or miss it too far right. So I to make this, I'm going to backspin this with a cup. And I overcut it. I overcut it. So, but that gave me a chance to make it. Now, I, I don't always agree with that, mainly because of, of holes with uh, different bounces. And we're going to have slightly different elevations and uh, yeah, all the goodies with it. But in general, one mile per hour right to left is impossible to thumb through. I, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting theory to take, a, to take a thought of that it's impossible to thumb through. So now I got to have a little cut. I didn't want it up there. Ah. Oh, yeah. Jill's, uh, she was like, what? I didn't unsubscribe. She thought I was being serious. It's great. She's so great with that stuff. I'm able to get her to do anything. Yes, you will, Ryan. How you doing, brother? All right, so we'll go over here. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna flip this one. Ah! Uh, and look, I, I can guarantee a shot's going in all I want, but there's nobody that can guarantee that we can do it. Well, all we're gonna do is we make that guarantee when we know that our percentages are so high. Like, how do I want to do this? We'll go with this. Remember, this hole carries too. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. This hole carries a lot. So I hit a smoothie one. I hit a 96 mile per hour shot with that. Fine. Perfect. So if that kind of tells you 100 miles per hour is pretty, on this club, on the three wood, 100 miles per hour is what gets you to that, that carry just that gets you to the number on the overhead. Now that had wind in my face, but it's a rough estimate, about 100. So keep that. In. That's the kind of checks and balances you should be doing in your game when you're playing. Like, you right, make those little recognitions to kind of tie this to a hole and be like, this is pretty level. 
Okay, I hit that 100, and that was in the in the wind face that landed three yards short. So yeah, we could roughly say 100 miles per hour is that. I got that number now. I've got a gauge for the three wood now. That okay, if I hit this ball 100 miles per hour, it's going to get to that. Now I take all the other factors and okay, what would height do to this? What is the wind going to do to this? It's the same thing we do with calculating maxes. If you also have other numbers that you can guarantee are right, you can make all your adjustments based off of that. So, like, like I said, uh, it was an argument that we had early on in the early days of word of mouth, where, uh, oh God, that was a bad shot, where Al was saying that he doesn't want to see anybody else's shot. And I said, that is absolutely the wrongest thing you could do. I don't care who you are, but you, you're getting, if you watch somebody else's shot, you're getting more information. Mr. Martinez, how you doing, buddy? Dude, I tell you right now, that chip was scarier than most other shots I have. Okay, so we got the 10 cross. Let's look, and this is a judgment everybody's going to have to make. I'm pretty sure I'm getting this up to the apex of the hill, which is good. Right? I'm up to the apex. Remember, guys, every time, bite. If you're going up top, bite that shot. If you were trying to drive it like we have in the past, don't because it's not possible anymore. Different bounces don't work right. All right, guys, that was a kind of a layup, to be honest with you. I couldn't figure out what shot I wanted to hit coming in here. I put myself in a bad spot. Honestly, on that setup where that pin was, the other shot in the bottom of the fairway with like a three wood coming in might have been a better line if you like we did the game before. Okay, again, this is 283 only, right? Even easier. Backspin. And I whiffed the ball even. I totally whiffed the ball, but easier, right? Baby cut, throw it out. You can get aggressive by cutting it a little bit more, but in general, you can almost pull it dead straight back and throw it out. But go dead straight and then cut a little bit more. That's it. You're good. Hmm. Okay, so this one. Let's take, let me explain my theory, my uh, the theory craft of the shot. So we're gonna call it shot crafting now. So when I'm crafting this shot, I'm thinking, okay, can I go past the let's think of all of my options. Where is the pin in relation to the back? Okay, backspin is now not an option. The only way backspin could even be a play here is a high T backspin that I land just past the hole and come back. Okay, so backspin's out of the play. So now I gotta look at this. What am I going to have the best option of coming in with? So you go here. Okay, can I kept this one? Yeah, that's too much club, most likely. Maybe a thumb with bite? Yeah, possibly. But I'm still leaving myself to the back of the green with nothing to do. So let's look at this. How about a low T release? And, and look at how much chances I gave it to go in. So again, once again, the shot crafting. I gave myself all of the, all of the, fair, all of the green to land in front of. And gave it a line to come in with nothing behind it that I couldn't have I couldn't have fucked it up going long. All I could have done is left it short, which I came close to, but I was pretty sure I couldn't leave it short. Okay, so now we get the option of maybe going long. Seven in my face. Uh, you know, I'm not better than par. We're gonna try it just to get a good judgment to see if we can. I'm pretty sure this is gonna get across and stop and barely stay on that edge. Now, you may ask. Honestly, backspin is probably my worst play here, but I want that extra height because the extra height on any high tee, getting a little bit more height is going to add more carry distance. It's not going to add to your total distance, but it's going to add to your carry distance. This is all we care. But backspin will also, if, if the angles are right, make the ball bounce, which means that if I barely get over, this could bounce back in the water. So bite will make it stop quicker. It will give me the same height. Bite's my answer. And then we nutted it. Did we nut it enough? We did. We're good. Now, obviously, when you saw the bounce now, you realize, okay, no spin is bouncing backwards into that water, so we're not going to worry about that anymore. But before we've seen it land, we went with the best, the, the least risk at all, or the safest play. That didn't really change anything. So backspin's fine there, but in general, let's get into the habit. If you're going into an object that could bounce backwards, you want to take away the bounce. Bite, right? Perfect. Remember, your clubs will still have the same carry distance out of the rough or very similar. So this ball is going to land 260.
I mean, well, I, yeah, I, you get it to land through 60. So you just got to know that. You just got to, these are little things you got to know that rough, it knocks the overhead distance way down, but my distance hasn't changed. Yeah, this would have been a setup if the tee box was further out, but this was drivable back in the day. Oh, I didn't, I haven't looked at my invites at all, man. I was, uh, I'm half out of it, man. No less than 140 drive. Yeah, no, no, yeah, exactly. You got to hit the drive good stuff. Oh, come on. Oh, that, that could have dropped, couldn't it? Okay, we got a win in our face. We're going with this club and backspin. If you all know when you're playing your stouts, you can hit it longer than I, I would even contemplate that, but let's just make sure we get an eagle. Uh, okay, so now we know, right? We talked about the nine would be in a little longer than, than it says. It, let's just think of this as a 200-yard club. Let's just think of all of these clubs as 200-yard clubs. The eight woods probably, uh, it's they're all almost exactly the same. So I know that this is actually a little longer than it says, but I'm going to baby flip this. Since it's going downhill, that in my face wind, a little bit of it's going to add on. We're going to flip it. Ah, and no spin might have made that go in. Again, pins behind everything. If we go to the end of the fairway, 275, we're leaving ourselves 250 in. 250 with a 12 out, that leaves us this nice little six wood right over the top. That's pretty fucking good, right? That, 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 that works pretty good, but... I still, if I ever have the choice, I don't want to have to play over an obstacle because, all right, we, we this is IT. There's Invisileaves everywhere. So, oh, and I always want to bite this kind of shot. It doesn't matter if you go down either. It does, but it doesn't. All right, so what do I have now? I kind of, I'm kind of screwed, right? You would think. What can we do? Yeah, I haven't I haven't been doing it, guys. It's uh, I gotta get a shoulder replaced too, so that that doesn't feel good. Okay, so I dropped all the way into the sand. I didn't think I'd get into the sand, but we can get this up. Five's getting over that, no problem. Let's just go like this. Ah, I caught that fucking tree. I thought I'd stay underneath it. All right, chipping's chipping's hard. Real hard. Okay, let's go. We're going to get another one in. Actually, is there any good holes left? Yeah. I'm not going to be better than par, so. Just, I, I, almost every single time, I'm just going with the five wood to the middle island. Oh, that's why. I went. I hit a six to the four wood the last time. Uh, we got, I mean, there's not a lot of green to play with. This club's going to carry a bit, so we're going to smoothie this backspin. Perfect. Twyla Varn, how are you doing, young lady? Mm. Okay, so now we got a little bit different. Let's just show you guys that the five wood does work right over the top. Always got to be some kind of spin on it, bite or back. So that gets over two. I think the four will get over two, so, but you'll have to look. I was I was even slightly worried the five might not be clearing on that set. And now and now this is always going to be the same, but you want your main goal is to get it as far left as possible. It doesn't really matter what club you use. We got to help her win. I'm gonna just go with the high tee. I backspin it to get a little bit more bend on it because it bends some on the bounce. Then and look at it, look at how much I cut that corner. Now I got I got choices. Like E40. Kick, kick. Oh. Where are you You're just going to plop them up there? That's it. Just keep plopping them. All right. Now, 
to down six. I would love to thumb the five, but do we think a thumb five is going to be able to backspin enough through a down six with a thumb shot? No, I'm not snapping it up. So why don't we, we're going to try to make it. If I got to make this, I'm going to try to backspin the seven. Right? Because the five probably doesn't backspin hard enough because I'm not hitting it hard enough. And it's too, it's too low lofted of a club. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Hey, I got my drink. I got my music. All right. Uh, I really don't want to draft that Caleb Williams kid. Uh, we don't. I I I I still I thought my play play to the Raiders, but it doesn't seem like they're interested. But that, that's the kind of team that will end up being interested. But I oh, see why wouldn't they give me the putt again? That's silly. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I I, I really want to see him try to trade down again. To be honest with you. There's going to be no difference than, uh, like, we could get a wide receiver. And I, I tell you what, Fields could win games. I don't think he's the, the ultimate best quarterback, but he's not going to, he's not losing games up there. I don't know, man. It, it's a, it's a really awkward one. And I also don't really think, I also don't really want Marvin Harrison either. I think that we're getting so high on a kid because of name recognition that, I don't think he's a, a, I don't know, man. They're, they keep talking about these guys are all time prospects. I think they're just, the media is just against the bears. They're like, Hey, draft this bullshit kid. So we can keep laughing at you guys. We're trying to trick you into doing it. Bears. I haven't heard anybody that watched all of his tape though. And goes like, dude, he's, he's great. I don't know. All right, can we get there? Okay, we could leave a short chip, but I don't have a lot of green to work with, so I'd rather have a thumb like nine iron in. Yeah, O'Connor, Oca yeah, whatever. Mike, Mike's but but I, ask Mike. I've told him a thousand times. Fields hasn't progressed. He still can't read a fucking defense at all. He can't. But I'll take a kid who who doesn't read a defense, but can throw a good deep ball and can run his ass around, can run his ass around the field. Over a rookie who's a, seems like he might be a prima donna that we can't coach anyway. No, oh, I had the line. But that's the thing. I, I am, again, I don't think this is that all uber talent to draft that others are talking about. I see it as a standard draft. We got, you know, it's not crazy. Like, they make it sound like these quarterbacks that are coming up are world beaters, and I just don't see it. Uh, if we went with that fucking kid from North Carolina, I'd kill the Bears would fucking be dead to me. We're not doing that shit again. Although, I think Tris I think Trubisky might have actually turned into a good quarterback if we had good coaches. I, I fully am saying, and I've said it from day one, that that Nagy fucking destroyed us. Because if he let, if we were able to develop Trubisky, we end up having a fucking good team in there. Ah, I pushed it left. That's just this thing's getting, I'm getting a little bit sore. So we will call it quits sometime soon, but we'll get a couple more games in. Got to get you guys what you're looking for. All right, so this is the shot I really wanted to. The last time I hit the wrong shot accidentally, I went with this. I hit a high T, something or other. The shot I normally play here is this. I go with the driver, half cup. Ah, I hit it too hard. Damn it. I, I, my play is to hit it into the wall short of the green, and it kicks right up. I, I just hit that one a little bit too hard. Obviously, it's a tougher one. Yeah, I... He might be, but I don't want the Bears to ever have to develop another quarterback again. I want somebody that's pro-ready. So I don't see any of these quarterbacks being pro-ready right now. So let's just stick with somebody who's been a pro and is serviceable. And we could upgrade everything else.
The only way I would, I would, in fact, I would like to see them, tra if they traded down and traded fields, I could see that. I would take a quarterback at eight or nine if one's there. The other play I saw was drafted Williams and having him fight with Fields as the starter. Keep Fields, like, cool. I mean, then you could either see whoever wins the battle, you trade the other one. I mean, trading Caleb Williams is probably, it would be, I don't know how easy it is after the draft that would like to do, or would we be on the hook for his whole, I don't know. I don't know if logistically it works, and I'm not. I don't claim to be an owner or anybody that's uh, excellent in the salary cap. All right, two seventy-seven, nothing there. Boom, four seventy-seven, can't get there. I. I mean, I heard rumors that he's getting traded now. Yeah, we're getting sore and tired. All right, we're going to put up a big one. Here we go. Let's do it. We're focused. See, this is tough because you really need it to get down the middle. It just won't get down the middle with a... A full A2 won't be far enough with, with, with that. See, like, that was maxed out, and it's not far enough. Ah, where do you see my... Come on, baby, we need another. We need another. All right, flip thumb backsman. Wow, my flip thumbs are at 87. I don't know what's going on. All right, maybe it's just the, the Vikings kicked in, and now I'm a little bit, a little bit smooth. Okay, so another one of these. I go baby cut. Why am I hitting it so damn hard? But it'll hit that edge and kick right back toward the hole. And the chips from these bunkers aren't bad at all. This is going to be a little uglier with how far underneath we are, but we'll still have a plenty of a line when the pin's on the left like that. Ah! I, I don't like that approach when it's over the water. I always find myself hitting it too hard, mainly because I'm sh it's such an uphill, weird lie, and I'm coming up with a low trajectory club anyway. It gives me a real chance of coming up short. I'd be careful here. Because this has a real chance of getting over the hill. So this would be one that if you had backspin on, it's probably in the water for sure. So I'll just medium fucking, I mean, bite spin, high T, perfect. Come on, ball. Oh, I God, I thought that. You really think May is going to be that good, huh? I don't even know if he isn't going to be. I, I really just don't. I wish there was a better way to tr to sign quarterbacks. Like, I wish the franchise tag didn't exist. That would change the draft altogether. Now, pin is short right. So, naturally here, I'm going to use bite. So I, I, I got to say that way is a lot more consistent to me. Maybe you guys chime in. Like those of you who play a full, is it as easy as I make it look? What if I missed it once? Ah, this is a not a good look. Again, make your choice. Are you going to go short and be on the fairway so you get spin to play with? But we're going to have nine in our face coming back. Ah, I'm going to put it fairway. I, I've been I've been going to the fairway with good luck a lot. Because now I got a I got a nine I got a 
a ten and a half clears the trees. So I can go like this. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's a it, the fold can be nice, but you you will have somewhere you'll snap it over, kind of things like that. I am I am on shots like that, I've always been a fan of actually aiming at the target. Oh god, I'm not hitting close all of a sudden. We started off the day all right. Okay, so now you probably think of this, but I'm actually thinking this because now I can hit it hard. Right? I hit it hard. Now I saved myself the any chance of, of going short. Which is weird, right? Because you play up a club and you're actually gonna be more commonly short because you know you have to hit it softer, and then hitting it soft, you hit it too soft. I know it's a weird, it's a weird thing to wrap your mind around. All right, just for the just for the fans, let's go with the full here. I, I don't hit a lot of fulls. Let's see what we got. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see. Well, it was successful. <laughs> Wait, didn't that hit the wall? Didn't you hit the wall and bounce it back over and go in? Again, pins on the left. Let's not screw around. Let's leave ourselves the most screen to play with. From right here, I get and it looks like you think you're gonna have an obstacle. Nope, no obstacles. We're good. Mm -mm. Again, still, oh, okay. So now we're back here again. Now, again, this driver, that, that nine and a half will go too far. I, this shot sucks when you're into the wind. I just getting it up there. I'm just gonna get my eagle and run. Yeah, I can, you can let that one go sometimes. Maybe you get a three one and dive it in. Okay, now we got options here, right? Let's go here. Yeah, I haven't had a straight shot at it in a while. Like, well, most of them you're still finagling through the tree. Same thing here. We want to use a club that snaps. Now, sometimes I'll even come to this angle. We don't need it. We don't need it. We can go here. We'll go back it up and to the left. Bam. Full C. Soft. And then we're around. That's all we're looking for. I didn't think if I hit that much softer than that, that we would have a ball that wouldn't hit the hill. So I kind of had to have to poke it a little. All right, let's get the hole out here. What do we got? We know that this club's going to carry a little bit, but I want it to carry. I'm going to take the risk to go wet here, actually. I pushed it left. Yeah, that was a lot of left. I got ace 18. So let's go. We're going to play the shot to ace it because that's the only thing an ace will up my score. Nothing else does. So. So I'm going to go with this and I'm going to thumb this club. Actually, I'm going to push it. I like that speed coming in. All right. We're going to give us one more game and then we're calling it a day. Like I said, date night. You gotta go see Dune tonight, man. Woo! Very excited. Mm -hmm. 
All right, last one. We got to put up a score. Got to get a score here. This has got to be 28 or better. Um... What did the guy just do in the combine? Hmm. All right, again. Oh, anytime, Neil. Uh, whatever the big one. I don't know what they call this one is. It is the super, the DLX super screen, I believe, is the, what they call it out here. Okay, so now, really, do we want to just try to line this up with a dead straight win? Do we want to smack it up? Uh, as of right this second, I am not going, but... Like I said, I got... It. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I got spring. Actually, I said I got finals. My finals, my midterms are coming up this coming week. No way. Come on. There's not really anything else. There's not really anything trickier here, but you just got the best ways of doing things. Not going to get anything special out of this. Too much in so we'll see. We'll we'll see. I don't know. I, I'm getting Chad's asking me to go. Guys, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do worlds. I, I know. Uh, Caesar. Actually, we did. Uh, we I made Jill watch the original Dune movie. So we did that and then watched the sequel. I mean, and then watched the first one again, Caesar. There we go. Now we're on that 28. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. She did not grab me by the junk. And apparently, the only way balls go in the hole around here is when Joe comes downstairs. Yeah. Hey. Where are you from? Hi, buddy, though. All right, we're going to just be careful here. A trip down memory way. Oh, yeah, it is awesome. Caesar said, oh, are you? Jill is watching. She can chat. Hi. What? Uh, hi, Caesar. Hi, Caesar. Yeah, Caesar, that's like that was like one of my first favorite books. He did it. Uh oh, we're pouring them in, folks. We are pouring them in. I gotta say, I'm I Jill is what I gotta say, this is an imp it's fun to watch my stream. It's very good quality. Thank you, Richard King, for the quality. Yeah, I know. Well, trust me, Austin. I trust me, I know about race season starting. All right, we can go up top again. We don't have a win in our face. It's not too long. Up top's gonna be a better shot, obviously. It's gonna be easier to make, especially when we don't have a win in our face at the pins in the back. Where are you from? All right, well, now is when I'm going to miss this. Now, this is going to be my bad shot. I'm going to yank this bad. I know it.
Fine. Ah, good, 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 good. Woo, that was scary. Oh, well, I fucked up the 30. Way to blow it, Mark. Oh, we'll get another. We got another coming. Oh, you are? Heading to see it now? Sweet. I can't wait. We had a we had one in here. This could have been something special. Oh, are they fuck around. Fuck around and find out. Jesus Christ. Alright, do I go deep or do I play it? No, we're gonna have an outlet. <laughs> awesome, Caesar. I'm in. Hi, Travis. Wow. All right, we're back to a 28. <laughs> Great. I hit two bad shots. I left that ball so far back on that hole. It doesn't help that, like, the setups were probably the worst two setups I could have had on those two holes. That was nice of them. Hmm. God damn it. A little two off, 28. There we go. Damn this game. Ah, oh, so angry. Oh, well, we're going to end on that. Ah, oh, no, we'll go one more. I'm not DNF in my last game. We're going to shoot. God damn it. Never fails, right? Three betters, two DNFs. That's good. I swear, I probably, I, I probably see have uh, more DNF games with more than two holeouts than probably any man in the history of ever. What do you think, Jill? She nodded her head. She agrees. She's uh, she's watched it where I'm three better through eight with a DNF on nine. And it's nine was easy kind of thing. That's when she knows that it's time to go watch a show upstairs. All right, let's start this off. Let's get a whole lot on one. Do we want to go up for it? You know what? Let's go up. Get up. I could do a goofy click chip. No, that's too far. No, we'll leave it back. Well, my left stroke just went viral. You and I know, bitch. Be humble. All right, here we go. I will say this: I have the only the only part better part about playing Golden Tea not on stream with you guys is I get to talk to my wife. That's the only good part about Golden Tea that is not being streamed. Who that? From no, ma'am, ma'am, get the fuck off my stage. I'm the same man. Oh, my dick, I ain't right. I make a play fucking up your whole life. Fucking sick and tired of the Photoshop. <laughs> Bitch, be humble. God damn. I feel like we're getting a little more dialed in here. 
I feel like I'm in the Vika tunnel. Griffey on the baby on the TED talk. <coughs> it won't be the alcohol. God damn, be humble. Ah. Shit down, little bitch. Be humble. Put it down. Be humble. Wow, that's an ugly little look. Now, remember, when we cut this, it is uphill a bit. And cutting the six wood, this club goes nowhere. I mean, that's, a, that's 40 yards off with only 20 miles per hour off. Or actually 30 miles per hour, sorry. Jill's killing all my popcorners over there. She's got white cheddar all over her face and stuff. She looks like she spilled a big bag of cocaine everywhere, but it's all over her. Um, daydream. I fell asleep beneath the flowers. Daydream. I fell asleep beneath the flowers. For a couple of hours. What a wonderful day. Mm. Did I really leave it that short? Hmm. Yeah, we need to get a little one better action here. Uh, I remember these robot eyes. So now you got a full would be great here too. That's fine, but I, I still prefer this. My God, I say something, I fucking... Okay, see that? Wait a minute. Weird. I pulled that sideways on it. Guys, she's not grabbing me yet, so... She's over there dancing to something. I don't know what she's dancing to. What? Nothing. I was singing. I fell asleep beneath the flowers. For a couple, I want a thirty, guys. I really do. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I have one coming here. It's a lot better to shoot a thirty on this course than uh, last week's event was a lot harder. It was it was uh, too many holes to change par? Now, if you guys want to know too, I am going streaks on Missouri, stouts here, and then tightens the rest of the way. Uh, I was using arrows on Missouri, and what it wasn't the arrows that were getting me, it was the putting. Uh, because a lot of the times on holes that I was getting that were holes that other people couldn't, you'd have really exceptionally long putts. Well, I wasn't making them all, so why am I taking the risk of where I'm carrying a ball? I, I'm carrying a ball specifically to get extra strokes, but I can't get the extra strokes, not because I'm not getting the greens, it's because I can't get the putts. It just the percentages made me, made me realize that it's not worth it. Went crazy. That's got a chance. Come on. Ah, you need the hill on the second bounce, or else it's not going to have enough. I fell asleep beneath the flower for a couple of hours. Let's ace this. Come on, baby. Here we go. Would have helped if I hit it straight. Now would have had a chance. Got to hit it straight. And that's another thing. When you're looking at these, like when you build your bags, you got to know what your clubs are. That you've got to learn your club specifically. And I know it's the same club that somebody else has, but I, I it, like I, my natural thing might have a little cut on every shot that I hit. So my distances might be, my theoreticals are all going to be the same, but my, my distance in practice is going to be a little different. Let's see if I can hit this one right. A little short, but you guys see the theory. If I hit the grass there, it's perfect. Wow, oh, I thought it missed. 42 and a half. 
아, 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 I didn't get a lot of things, I admit it. Admit it, I don't take it when I say, if I said it, then I meant it. You too, Steven. I know they never get it. Trophy you in a fucking, fucking ribbon. Just crack it along. A fool. What you think? Y'all gotta move. Give me some room. Okay, good. I didn't want to go too hot at that. So I, we had a softer three there. I I didn't want to, because that first bounce is so tight that I might bounce over the green. I, it's not that it's a bad chip, but once again, why would I want to chip him? Yeah, see, when I don't even focus on that hole, it's easy to be. When I'm three better and I think it's a nerve wracker, then I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck it up, just like all of us. Ain't no lie for the other side, of anyone. Shit. Ain't no love for the other side for anybody who ever. Ah, I knew it. I was so scared of fucking snapping that back right through that I hit it a little too hard. Day, I admit it. I don't in a way. Jill knows what's happening right now. It's getting sticky down here, and I'm sticking all over to the deck. I gotta wash the hand. All right, guys, I will say this too: make sure if you are like me and we have humidity problems, sir, and you get sticky and you get dry. For your home edition, dude, guys, order this shit. It's great. Make sure not to get it on the ball. The Novus stuff. It also takes out any minor scratches as well. So I'm, I'm kind of doing an advertisement right now. But it's great. Uh, if you're like me, though, and the deck gets sticky for you, too. If it gets sticky, if your deck gets sticky like mine will, like during this time of year. This makes it, keeps it from getting too sticky after a while. Like, you just got to wash my hands after a while. What's up, Jason? Great to see you too, buddy. Do you even have a machine anymore, bud? All right, this is gonna be my last one. Oh, I just realized I, for the extra new transfer Iowa students class, I have to take a small quiz real quick. Ow. Honestly, Jason, it's probably for your best, man. You can go do some other things and enjoy that you enjoy as well. To be the sway man, I got strength to be innate. I'm working tirelessly, gang. All of y'all been waiting for it like hell up on me. Raining on that drought, y'all been waiting on. Oh, like a cowboy. Give me some room. Give me some room. Jason, it's been like two weeks, dude. You haven't been missing the game. What are you talking about, bud? You get into it like you've been on it. getting into it. That would be like me saying I missed the game, but dude, like I, it's like I, it's not even retirement if you've been gone for a week. Come on, baby, one time. We need it. Ah! Don't go too overboard, is all. Did you have a package coming? I think something got delivered. Well, Mr. LaRock, how are you doing, sir? All right, we're getting robbed, Jill. I mean, look at that. Ah, that's highway robbery. What 
the fuck just happened? Well, what happened there, guys? I, I, I didn't see it. I got it, and I, I'd have to load into another... I'd have to log into something. Jill was on my other computer. What happened there? Well, how did that pus miss, guys? I, I was five inches away. What happened? And that rolled over, huh? <laughs> That's that. That's legit. So they steal a hole and run for me, and then roll me over. God, I, I would love to go back to the monger moniker of saying, "Oh, everything's Kevin Lindsay's fault." But that's like the op. I think that's like it now has become so ironic that he's the only one that's not at fault. All right, here we go. I literally, this has got to be the last game. I keep saying that, but I got to go after this. I'm hungry. Now, it's only 4.30. The wife got out early. I thought it was like 5.30. 28 under a bus, but we got to get at least up to 28. What's up, Bama? How you doing, sir? Did you end up moving, Bama? Okay, now did I want this? This this is gonna be the bigger question. Is this where we want the ball? I love it. I love this. Ah shit. Uh uh. Oh nice. Okay. All right, hold on one. Here it is. Ah! Seventeen thirty nine. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventeen thirty. Yeah. You want to cut the legs up with? Later, bud. What's the games? All right, over the top. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna hold this one out or go in the water. One of the two on the second shot. Not the not the tee shot. I'm not that I'm not that cocky. This is going in. This is going in. We're gonna put this in. It ain't going in the water. Okay, it might go in the water. No, no, Jill, no, 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 no. Dude, I'm the cook in the family. I am the cook. That is me. I do the cooking. Now we're gonna go out. We got. We're going to see Dune at ten fifteen. Cut the legs off him. The games are kicking fire. All right, we gotta get the ace here. Here we go. One time. Oh, we'll talk to you. Want to cut the legs off them? Yeah, if you guys want a, a, an in depth walkthrough of a lot of these holds, go ahead. We, earlier in the stream, I went through everything nice. Ah, oh, God, this is as bad as it gets. 
All right, so let's knock it up to the end of the fairway and see how much different it is. I mean, into the rough. Too far, really? Uh. All right, good. We, well, we hit it right where we want. Is this going to get there? It should. I want to bite it, even though I don't want the bite spin on it. I need the height, just so I can get over the edge of this. Yeah, see, this just sucks. All right, so wait, I was one better than one of No, that was through nine. All right, nope, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not playing games off. We're not playing the off games here. I don't know why I'm still going. I still need to wait somebody to pass me now. But let's get two, three strokes up. Bad sets lately, man. I'm not getting some good holes here. We're not getting anything now. That three better. It gave me one chance at it and then said, you know what? Now you're going to fucking be terrible. And that's where I'm at. Here, this will help. All right, 260, we're going to have a hole out in instead of a chip. I didn't want the rough there. Shit. Fucking this up. I'm not putting balls in the right spots. That, that hard either. All right, all right, we're gonna get this one. Boom. Too hard again. God damn, Mark. But the shot gets me. I mean, if you notice, whenever I'm in the bunker short, I almost make the chip every time. That chip is nice. It's subtle, yes, yes. Well, there's two more periods in the back. It means there's more to come. But that's a good, that's an interesting take, Damien. <laughs> Why? Why? That's a one fucking break. Come on. With roll. God damn it. Yeah, this is not what I like. This is not like it's longer than I want. So that means I have to hit it hard. And I hit it too hard. I'm not ending on that. Fuck! Oh. Yeah, we're playing a game, and then we're ending. <laughs> I know, it's embarrassing. I'm getting mad. I'm done after this, though. Jill's going to beat me. Jill's going to beat me. That's the difference. Jill's here and can beat me. You guys are here and can't touch me. So I'm going to have to offend you and not her. Like intro.
All right, let's see here. I like where that pin is because you get a long strip. I'm going to try to get this drive up as far as I can. For some reason, this hole, 146. I'll get a 146 all the time, so that's not close enough. I'm going to have a G win, which is good, actually. I like this one really good. How do you overcut that? Oh, that looks so good. Shit. Actually, pizza sounds fucking good. No, I know what she's I know what we're gonna have. I, I just figured that out. Okay, here we go. We got fairway, we got play here, we got a good pin. That's just in between clubs. That's great. Here we go. I should have hit that. I thought I could get it to go. What was that? Oh, thank you, Caesar. I appreciate it. Thumb straight flip. I can't thumb straight, though. See? Click fucking right. Ah! It's hurting, now. All right, let's get that bank shot to work this time. The fuck? I did not pull that back sideways. All right, guys, I got to call it night, man. I'm hurting a little bit now, too. I love you all. Uh, I'll, I'll, like I said, you'll, you'll see me popping in here randomly. It takes you guys to make me do it. So I love y'all. If you guys need help, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here. Love you guys. Have a good day. Word of mouth. We're done for now. My thoughts about the socks this year are I'm waiting to see how bad of a shit show it is. I, I you know, I have, I, I go in optimistic and we fail every year. So I'm going to go in thinking that we're going to be the worst team in baseball. And then maybe if we get fourth, I'm happy. But other than that, have a good one.